Hello my loves and welcome back to Mystic Love Tarot. I hope that you are all doing super super well and that you have had a really good week. So before we get going on the reading, just some little things I want to cover with you if you haven't already checked them out. So I have started a podcast with my friend Josie Vinton and it is running on a separate YouTube channel but it's also running on Spotify, iTunes, I, iPod, uh, well, I podcasts, all of the podcast channels, it is running on. And it is in a free astrological and tarot card reading for your week ahead, okay? So I know I only post once a week on Mystic Love Tarot. So this is like my second account and it is called at Mystical Moon Day Musings. Mystical Moon Day Musings. And what I'll do is I will link it in the comments for you so you can find it easily. Um, and we post the, the video out each week on YouTube and it shows you the astrological sign and the cards for the week so you have a bit of a visual. Um, and we also really embody that divine feminine energy, give you some tools and tricks on how to move that week forward, how you can cope with maybe more complicated situations. So it's really, really worth going and checking that out. Go and hit subscribe. And obviously, if you aren't subscribed over here, hit subscribe too on this channel so you will have the love reading once a week on mystic love tarot and you will have a astro astrological and tarot reading for the week ahead every week on moon day musings mystical moon day musings mystic over here mystical on that channel so i'll link it in the description so go check it out and again it's on all the podcast places so you can just go and find that so it's really interesting. It's really, really good. And obviously you get to hear us in our kind of uh, sisterly energy vibration. We're both Geminis. We both bounce off each other. So it's really high divine feminine energy coming in for you once a week. So go check it out. It's free. Um, other things, I have got spaces for video readings. And I also do same day return on voice note readings at the moment. So it comes in waves on when I can and can't do them. But every single voice note reading that you want on Instagram or Facebook, my plan at the moment is to do them same day return for you. OK, so that means you ask me the question at some point in the day and then I get it back to you at some point in the day. So you will get your answers here and now if you are really kind of in turmoil, you need something super fast. You don't want to wait for a video reading. They are all available to you and they are £10 a question. So I'm keeping the prices right down on it for you because I know what it's like when some me. you need an emergency reading um, and you're like shit I ain't got the funds I ain't got this I ain't got that so 10 great British pounds um, and you can get your same answer today so just message me um, you can direct direct message me on Instagram or Facebook you can also email me at mrlovetarot at gmail.com and again I'll put all the details in the comments so you can find me <sighs> and we'll take a breather from there so what are we doing this week we are going to be doing what what on earth are they doing? That sounds perfect because when I was just looking at the card, I was thinking then, what, what reading are we doing? It is, what on earth are we doing? Are they doing? So the person that you are asking about. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest if it's just someone that you're curious about, perhaps friendship, etc., etc. And just the person that you are thinking about gets into the collective energy of the deck. So this is deck number one and this is deck number two. So both of these are my my pretty pretty decks this one over here for those of you who are interested um i believe they're by the same lady actually is the elemental power tarot and this one over here so pretty is the tarot of tales each tarot card's got its own story so really really beautiful decks for those of you that are interested um, and we can look at the sacred geometry on the back of this and just really see on both of these decks that you and the person you're asking about have probably got a mirroring energy going on number one number two okay let's go hey 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 number one deck number one if you just tapped in choose in turned on i would urge you to go back to the video reading at uh, the start of the reading because i have just given some updates about my sister channel my sister channel so another channel like mr love tarot which has three readings on it and um, that me and my friend josie are running so go check out mystical moon day musings uh, all podcast sites and on youtube okay so let's just think about your person deck number one the person you want to ask about and let's just go so i feel like we want to pull three to five cards i will let spirit lead the way on this so what on earth is your person doing? So this is kind of looking at their behaviour, their actions, what's going on in their world and almost like why are they acting the way that they are acting? What is happening? So you're probably not getting many answers from them at the moment, this moment in time. You're probably feeling like you're stuck in a little bit of a loop, Spirit is saying to me. 
And when I say a loop, we've kind of got this eat, do you remember Dua Lipa that where she would go eat, sleep and breathe it, rehearse and repeat it from new rules. It's almost like that with you and your person. So I'm going to start at the positive energy and then we're going to travel back. Okay. So this, your person does love you, right? They have got a very funny way of showing you that they love you, but they absolutely do. So we've got the Two of Cups coming in over here. Now, the Two of Cups speaks about divine love. It speaks about that beautiful connection. It talks about that energetic flow of romance between the two of you and that blossoming. Um, with it being wine glasses as well, we can also say it's a cheers, it's a toast, it's a celebration, and it is an all, it's, a, it's divine connection, okay? So your person has got a lot of love for you. There is a lot of love here. But their actions are showing you something different, okay? Now, the reason why their actions are showing you something different is because we've got the devil, we've got the three of swords, we've got the hanged man, those of you that read tarot, and we've also got the five of pence. So, one great card saying, well, they love you, but the rest of it is something that we need to kind of delve into a little bit more. So, the devil, often seen as the darker side of the lovers. Your person has got false beliefs. They've got chains, they've got addictions, they feel stuck. They feel confused over situations. And you and them often have this quite potentially toxic energy, so to speak. It's very backwards and forwards. It's very, I'm playing you here, you're playing me there. And this kind of energy is sparking between the two of you. You have a very strong sexual dynamic and sometimes that can overtake the emotional side of things. So they can often talk to you more about sex than about emotions. Um, they are also having this kind of addiction energy with you. So this means, what I mean by that is, you two are like traveling along, you and them, okay, you see your path, you're going forward. And then suddenly a situation erupts, these kind of little towers, big towers, little towers hit, towers being when everything goes tits up. And you break away, okay? So you break away from that connection. Now, once you're breaking away, you feel this need to pull back towards each other and it is like a magnet. You have got this magnetic pull between the two of you. And with the addiction, you have the highest of highs and you have the lowest of lows. And once you're in that low point, you are looking for the high. And once you're in the high point, you both are dropping to the low point. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Try and think of it as a magnet, okay? So you pull towards each other or you pull away. And that energy comes up with both of you, okay? So there is love, but we also have the kind of darker side of love, the shadow aspect of it with the three of swords there's also this fear of things okay so with the devil and the three of swords there is a fear of getting hurt there is a fear of heartbreak there is a fear of pain and they have probably got a few addictive behaviors um to help them try and avoid heartache so this could be even so much as like pushing you away a little bit it could be um drugs it could be alcohol it could be escaping any form of escapism behavior even if it's just playing on playstation for hours and hours and end you have this escapism behavior coming forward with them okay and they try and do it to avoid this loneliness and this heartbreak and the pain they are scared of being hurt and because they have this love they also have this vulnerability and that scares the shit out of them of getting hurt again so the other cards that are coming up is the five of pence and the hanged man so the five of pence this is your person in loneliness this is your person feeling sad and um, this is your person feeling like a bit of a bit sorry for themselves really is the right way to say it they're feeling sorry for themselves they know that their actions are causing the situation to go the way it is um but it's like because of that vulnerability they're scared of turning the situation around so what they do instead of saying to you how they're feeling and what's happening and what they want and all of that stuff they don't do much, anything they just stop they just stop the energy. So you might be in no contact, not much going on, a little bit of contact here, a little bit of contact there. Or they, they are love bombing you and pulling away again. So the hanged man energy coming up over here, okay? So overall, your person and what on earth is going on with them, let me summarise it for you, okay, really quickly. There is a great love, but they are scared of their shadows. They are scared of their own shadows and they are scared of the shadows of love. They have escapism behavior that is going on and there is this element of heartbreak and pain. So they do escapism to avoid pain and heartbreak. They're very good at switching their thoughts, our spirit are telling me as well. They are feeling quite alone. Some of them as well, I'm just hearing a couple of you guys, your person is having issues with family at the moment, specifically mum. There is issues with mum going on and that is making them feel more alone than ever. 
The hanged man is coming up because until they work out what they want to do in their head, you're not going to be feeling like you're getting much from them. Okay, so you're going to be maybe feeling that you've got a bit of whiplash and it's a bit backwards and a bit forwards. Um, overall, the energy of you guys, yeah, it's it's very stop, start. It's a bit like you've got your foot on your gas, you're going and then you're stopping and then you're going and then you're stopping. Uh, you're stalling a little bit. That's where the energy is. It is quite stalled between the two of you. Um, now, if you want to try and move things forward, um, goddess... I link with goddess, I am a priestess, I am a pagan priestess for goddess, um, and if you did want any magic and us to have a look at some things and little tricks and tips to help you move this situation forward, we can do, okay, just give me a shout, um, I also do manifesting plans if you want to work more with a universal level rather than with magic, so you can just drop me a message, all the deets are in the description, and like I said, if you haven't checked out the podcast my on my, on my second channel, go and check it out, um, go hit subscribe, and uh, I will see you, deck number one, next week or on Monday if you tap in, tune in and turn on to the video. Okay, guys, deck number two. If you just tapped in, tuned in and turned on, how many times a day do I say that? Um, at the start of the video, I was talking about the podcast that I am now doing um, and I run it on my second channel with my friend Josie. Um, so you can go and check it out. It's just Mystical Moonday Musings. And what you'll find is I put a, we are putting a video out every Monday for free of your weekly reading. Okay, so what's going to be happening that week on the tarot and the astro astrological side of things. Um, and then, oh, it's raining always rains in England I always act like I'm surprised oh it's raining um, <laughs> and so we do that and we're putting that out, out every Monday so Mystic Love Tarot this channel and me I will put out once a week still but if you want to go and check out Moon Day Mus Mystical Moon Day Musings Mystic like Mystic Love Channel Mystic Love Tarot it's Mystical Moon Day because Moon Day it goes out on a Monday and it's governed by the moon and Musings because it is our thoughts our, our um, inspiration our, our when as a jury that's what we would say so you can go check it out I'll put all the deets in the description for you. And with that, we're going to go and have a look at what on earth your person is doing. Now, I quite like the fact that the rain has started. Now, as a druid, um, I do read nature. It is one of our key elements. I work with the old gods and goddesses. So any kind of nature symbolism that happens at the point that I'm reading, I will always read that for you. Now, with the rain coming in, this is a sense of purifying. OK, so this connection is being purified and it's being purified by emotions because water will always symbolise emotions emotions so you are probably probably beginning again with your person and that being said I just got the song by Taylor Swift begin again beautiful beautiful song if you haven't heard it and um, it reminds me of me and Angelo my husband partner man uh, sexy Latino boyfriend I feel weird saying boyfriend when I'm 37, it's, it seems weird, but um, we've been together a long time now and that Begin Again song always makes me think of him. So you can go and have a listen to that. Um, he is Brazilian for those of you that don't know. You're like, I know a lot of you do know, you're like, oh, it's Brazilian. And the amount of people that say, I've got a half Brazilian baby too. And I'm like, yay, half Brazilian baby club. <laughs> okay, so... You and your person. These cards, my love, are going to love. You are going to love. So, Begin Again by Taylor Swift. And I'm also getting, on that note, the other one that was by Taylor Swift. You know I'm a big Swifty. Um, I'm also a big Omnia fan, but I, I listen to all various types of music. So, Big Swifty, it's the one with Ed Sheeran. Um... And it's called, it's called, it's called, uh, it's not Begin Again, that I've already given you that one. It's where she, all I've seen is freckles and your wild smile. I want to know you better. I don't think it's called that. I just want to know you better. That song coming up as well. And when I'm looking at the cards of both of you, this is blossoming. This is growing. This is absolutely beautiful. And I just saw clairvoyantly a rose. And it just started to open up and it was a pink rose for unconditional love. So this, um, I feel like while we're in pink today, very high frequency between you guys. There is a great love here. I'll read you the cards for those of you that read tarot and I'll show you them because they are just so pretty. You've got the ten of pence, ten of coins. You've got the seven of pence, seven of coins. You've got the sun. You've got the star. You can have a better house, really. You've got Temperance and the Queen of Cups. They jumped out together. 
So let me just talk you through these first, Temperance and Queen of Cups, seeing as she is in my hand, and I just want to talk to you about this. So you guys might be feeling that you have lost your patience with the situation at the moment, but what these cards are saying is perseverance will pay off. This connection is going to be growing and blossoming and magnifying and if this is just someone new that you are asking about they are really into you they fancy you they would like to get to know you better okay temperance on here um sometimes it can be dipping your toe in between the two worlds i want to say as well so you're probably walking between the two worlds and in last in this week's reading on mystical mean day musings we were talking about walking between the two worlds so you've probably been getting messages intuition and with the queen of cups the psychic woman card divine feminine energy um you are walking between the two worlds so make sure that you're listening to your intuition but don't give in to like those false ideas false guidance false thoughts that are coming into your thought process trust your instinct trust your gut okay very psychic intuition going on over here you know this connection is higher volume and higher frequency and beautiful Ten of coins, seven of coins. So happy family times, love, romance, growing, but growth, planting seeds for the future, letting it become more stable, letting it become more secure. They want a future with you. They want a future with you. They want to be with you. They love you. They have these emotions. They, they are falling in love with you. They're not in love with you yet. yet. In love with you yet. I really swerved that then. I haven't had a drink yet, I promise. Um, <laughs> in love with you yet okay but they have got those emotions for you so they are working it all out fox on this you know the vixen <sighs> sexy girl sexy boy um oozing that kind of energy that comes with that as well um you might feel that you're a little bit on protect because you've been hurt in the past um but these cards are suggesting that it is okay to let your walls down now if you want to look at that privately we can do that as well just in case you are a little bit um unsure about it and I said at the start I'm doing £10 single uh, same day return on readings at the moment if you want me so the sun and the star coming up as well the sun being the masculine energy the star more of a female kind of energy going on over here um you two have got this beautiful merging of your energies a beautiful alignment and it does feel like it can be more astrological um you have got this growth and this beautiful passions the sun is your happy outcomes and uh, being a chrysalis on this card you're going to emerge as the butterfly but emerging together the star being on the right path when i went to israel i took myself to israel many years ago um and uh, you know kind of learned a little bit more about the star and how um in I, i'm not christian obviously i mean i am fully pagan witch and druid i am fully that way inclined but i i went to israel because i always had a very strong connection with jeshua um and it was absolutely one of the it was one of the best experiences of my life because i just went on you know i was just like that ah, getting divorced i'm just gonna go and the star always talks about how kind of like how they followed the star to baby Jesus. It was a little bit of blind hope, it was a little bit of blind faith, but it led them to where they needed to go. So this is saying, keep your faith, keep your hope, let the universe navigate around you and this relationship can blossom. So what on earth they are up to, what they are up to is letting this connection grow and blossom and be with you. So if they are being a bit distant in text messages and things like that, don't stress about it, probably just busy. Um, and that's that, so that's a wrap. It's a wrap. So yeah, like I said, go check out Mystical Moon Day Musings on all the podcast sites or on YouTube. Hit subscribe over here, hit subscribe over there. And I will speak to you all um, on Monday. And if you have any feedback for Mystical Moon Day Musings, let me know, because um, it's obviously stuff that we can include each week for you. Um, and what else, what else, what else? Yeah, go and have a look at all the deets. And we have a website as well now. I think we have a website sort of too. So go check it out. I love you all. Thank you always, as always for all your support over the however many years we've been on YouTube now. It's been such a journey. It's been such a blissful journey. Um, and I do love you all to pieces. I absolutely do. And I've been really blessed this, this year that I'm getting to actually meet some of you in person. I feel by the end of the year, I'll have met about three or four or five of you. Um, so yeah, next time uh, one of the people I read for is coming over from Denmark. So that will be wonderful for them to for me to see them and, and give them a big cuddle big alley cuddle and say hey um and i also met one of my my ladies that i read for she came over from belgium um and she came and met hunter so it's absolutely beautiful and then in um 
October when I'm at the International Tarot Conference in London. I'm also meeting a lady that's traveling from Texas. So it is all go, go, go. Absolutely love it. Um, and I will speak to you soon. I love you all, my mystic tribe. Ciao.